In this video, I will be trying to build the Florida's coaster in one minute, ten minutes, and one hour. And the one minute goes in now. Alright, let's quickly place the station as always and I think I would just straight up go in a chain lift. Let's go up. That's not really steep, but that's hopefully good enough. Alright, let's just straight up add like a yeah drop. That should be fine. Let's add a turn. Okay, I want to go all the way. Yeah, sort of like a 180 degree turn and try to make some sort of airtime hill underneath this. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm really doing, but this sort of works. Alright, and let's then sort of like continue this turn going over the station again. I, I am doing way too much. We have around like 15 seconds left. Oh no. Okay. I need to go down. Uh, rotate it like this. We need to go as quickly as back. We have... Oh no. We have less than 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, let's just rotate this very quickly back. Okay. I have like one second. And let's connect it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Well, what is this? Okay. Well, I, I, I have gone for a sort of different approach than normal. It, it is definitely longer than normal. It's definitely worse than normal. All right. Let's just have a ride on this coaster. I guess it's not terrible. It's like a sort of a mini version of an inverted coaster. It does not really have an inversion. But yeah, I just do not have the height or the speed or like it's just not possible. But here we are. Let's go down on this. Yeah, very interesting drop. And yeah, then we have this air timer, which is not terrible yeah i'm definitely not sure about this part and of course it also does not have any brakes so yeah it's not the best one minute coaster let's have a look at what we can do in 10 minutes and the 10 minutes start right now all right let's just place the station a little higher than we just did i sort of have a cool idea for this i don't actually think there's anything like that in the world we are going to make a launched flawless roller coaster what can go wrong so let's just add some sort of like small yeah bit of offset in here just to create a little bit of banking doesn't really matter and then we are going to sort of make it go straight again and i am probably going to take some inspiration from the incredible hulk so we are going to sort of yeah launch it upwards and now just go up probably around this point then have maybe like three normal pieces and i really also want to add that this is actually really high uh, i actually might make it one smaller and i actually really want like the inverse version that also the incredible hulk has since that is just a very yeah cool inversion to have like at the start of your roller coaster it's definitely not going to be exactly the same but it's just sort of in the same vibe as it and i think that can work very cool so let's like rotate it like that and then we are sort of going in here like that it, it should hopefully work of course we only have 10 minutes that's not a lot to build a full size roller coaster yeah yeah we're not going to be able to make that so yeah let's just sort of like go up i think so yeah you're definitely going to be pulling some g's in there straight go to the next inversion dive loop i think a dive loop can be pretty cool it does look a bit flat right now so i might need to like move it up quite a lot it's not going to be perfect as i just said and yeah we are also going a little bit for the ground that's not the biggest problem we can always of course delete some of the of the ground that's there let's add some hard line and now we need to somehow go very sharply to the left otherwise we will of course hit that track so yeah Let's, let's do sort of this, yes. Now we are going straight again. It's going to be, I guess, quite a, yes, yeah, spread out layout. Since song is a most of these, yeah, coasters have that. And I think that's pretty awesome. What should I add now? What I might do is something I never really do. Is just hit a halfway booster. And um, we are going to make quite an hard inversion right here. Which is a cobra wall. I am extremely bad at making. So guys don't expect anything good from this. <laughs> to be honest really don't. We are still going to be trying and making it. So let's make this rotate around this. It is going very deep down. But oh this looks. Or we can just continue this turn. Oh and we make this inversion i'm not really sure what this is called it's probably now on the screen since i can of course look up them but i might do try and do this this is like some more of those unique inversions i guess it's sort of the same as cobra wall but this one is even oh even weirder and then uh, from this point we will go down again yeah it's it's a 
it this is just a very very strange roller coaster layout but i guess i'm all here for it all right let's just also make this straight go in another turn again slowly try yeah get back to the station since we only have less than five minutes and yeah i still need to probably change some of the booster powers and do all that kind of stuff since i have the feeling it might go a little bit quick at some point so i might just add like some sort of half helix right here yeah i think that's cool not sure why it should be here but why not and then we can oh we can actually go over the sort of like first drop of this roller coaster and this is definitely not one of your like standard um floorless roller coaster layouts as you can see it's definitely just something that's a bit more unique and just surprising i guess this is yeah, kind of fun. We might add like an airtime hill right here. I, again, I do not know how many, how much speed I have. I hope it's enough. Maybe I do, do not even need the launch so I can yeah, delete it in the in the future. And now I kind of want to add like a final helix before we actually go into the break. So we have like around, yeah, a little bit less than four minutes. That's hopefully more than enough. So let's add like an helix going all the way around here. And then we of course need to go up and then straight into the brakes. Yes, definitely good enough. And then we are going to continue this turn not bad all right let's test the roller coaster and see if it goes way too quick because i definitely have the feeling uh, that's the case so uh, yeah we will definitely have to all right let's have a look if it goes too quick uh, here we go up and um, that's actually not terrible i i think i can live with that so then we have this yeah dive loop i might need to change some of the gravity stuff and then um, this second lounge is definitely not needed oh my god that's no okay so i am just going to probably delete this for now all the way up and then we go Ooh, actually maybe too slow for this inversion and that's all i'm not sure how smooth it is it does not look too smooth but of course it's made within 10 minutes so yeah <laughs> not a really the point of making it like as smooth as possible might be might be a bit much red so i kind of want to maybe change this one to like a darker red so the rails of the coast itself is darker yes and uh, maybe fully white supports all right well we have around 10 seconds left let me just quickly change some of these colors of the train i'm no idea how this is going to be looking i hope it's the how does this look does that look fine oh that looks terrible there we go that is our 10 minute roller coaster and this looks actually pretty awesome um it's definitely as i said a weird layout but i think it turned out all right for a 10 minute coaster it's definitely way better than the one minute coaster so i guess just let's have a ride on this coaster and of course we will be going straight on this lounge and this looks yeah this is going pretty quick and now we have this interesting yeah inversion it's definitely all right and then is this smooth that's not actually too bad and then we have like this bank and then still any version i do not know the name of but i think it turned out all right it's definitely a bit on the rougher side but i think it's uh, it's good enough and then we have some yeah final turns into this airtime hill into like the last big helix i think this is just mainly to get the layout to be a bit longer into the brakes and there we go and then back to the station all right definitely not a bad roller coaster but i feel like i can do way better so let's just get straight to the one hour coaster so for the one hour coaster my main goal is just to probably try to make it as realistic as possible to like a in real life yeah flawless roller coaster which i feel like is going to be quite challenging so normally this coaster starts off uh, with a drop so we are definitely going to also sort of do that and then it also starts to sort of like go back on it again small block break section right here and let's then add some sort of turn that's like around this angle probably good enough then we're going to have a small straight piece and then we are going straight up the chain lift which is probably going to be as steep as maybe this i think this should probably turn out pretty quick yeah a little bit down like this at a very small straight piece now i am probably just straight going down I, I feel like that can be fun really steep turn so i think this yeah that turns out pretty nice i have i think a really cool idea for here which a lot of these roller coasters actually do that and yeah i think i can hopefully also make it that already was wrong okay i this this is going to be a hard one i can already tell so let's just sort of make this go up and 
now we want to sort of go upside down but as you can see right now i am going to be hitting it i feel like i need to go even more back okay you know what um i think we should just start the time lapse i am going to be trying to make this somewhat of a yeah good yeah looping and then the rest of the layout so <laughs> this is going to be a very challenging course i want to make it as good as possible so let's just get straight into this time lapse Alright, well, there it is. The roller coaster is done. I think it turned out pretty great. The only part that I'm maybe not too happy with, with how it turned out, is the corkscrew. But I can just, for some reason, not make corkscrews. I'm extremely bad at it. But for the rest of the layout, it actually is extremely smooth. And I think it turned out pretty great and yeah especially the looping it took me a few tries I, i've cut out uh, like quite a lot of them uh, in the time lapse so that's why there were maybe like some big time gaps in there but for the rest i think yeah like this it's maybe not too much uh, b and m like uh, layout at some points but i think it turned out pretty great all right well then there is one last thing to do and that is the pov So guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. As you can see, only 20% is actually subscribed. So if you haven't, please consider it. Well, this was the video. We got 1 minute, 10 minutes and a 1 hour coaster. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will say, as always, good bye.